Hi children, welcome to our channel. So children, today we are going to discuss about one of the most 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 important topic and very easiest topic that is formation of stationary waves in an in an open pipe. Formation of stationary waves in an open pipe. So children it is very important for 8 marks question in our public examination point of view at the same time based upon this topic so many questions will ask in competitive exams that's why you have to watch the video without any skips clear without late i am going to the topic children so dear students generally we are ha having idea about the these music, musical instruments trumpet clarinet flute saxophone bugle etc these instruments are operated with the help of wind that's why these are called wind instruments why i am saying about all these things means here generally these wind instruments are made up of argon pipes made up of argon pipes so here these argon pipe should be classified into two types some of them taken as the open pipes and some of them can be taken as closed pipes so open pipe means when both ends are open in an organ pipe when both ends are open that type of organ pipe is called open pipe clear oka pipe yoka two ends open unnatlaite aa pipe ni open pipe ani antaru and the organ pipes which consists of one end is closed and one end is open that type of argon pipe is called closed pipe clear oka end open oka end closed unte dani manam closed pipe antam when both ends are open then only it is called open pipe and children now formation of stationary waves in an open pipe already in previous videos we discussed and learned about how stationary waves are formed in stretch string and what are the stationary waves already i clearly explained in previous videos so ipudu varaki meer chudnatlaite ok sari chudandi here what is a stationary wave stationary wave is nothing but two progressive waves which are having same frequency and amplitude when they are superimposed together in opposite directions then it is called a stationary wave two progressive waves which are having same frequency and amplitude then they are superimposed in opposite directions a stationary wave is formed okay frequency okay amplitude in 20 rendu waves anevi progressive waves anevi opposite direction lo superimpose aithe stationary wave anedi air padutundi so manam discuss chesam intaku munde previous videos lo enti adi that is what it is a stretched string and when it is vibrated one wave is moving like this and again that should be reflected at the ends again superimposed then what we get a stationary wave so it is clearly explained in the previous video inta varaki meer chudapothe up to now you didn't see that one go to the previous videos and playlist check the playlist children this i want to remind few points to you here this is the one progressive wave and it is the another progressive wave 
both are superimposed together now what it is called stationary wave so here children already we learnt what's that in a stationary wave at which points the displacement is minimum almost all zero those points are called what we call nodes in a stationary wave where the displacement is zero those positions are called as nodes and where the displacement is maximum at these positions displacement is maximum that is amplitude is maximum those points are called antinode so ipudu malli enduku gurthu chestunnanante manam ee derivation explain cheyalante formation of stationary waves ni open pipe cheppali ante manam gurtunchukovalsinatundi main two points ive end adi antinode antinode when we take two consecutive antinodes that wavelength is how much lambda by 2 and if we can take antinode and node antinode and node what it is lambda by 4 you have to remember this one the distance between two consecutive antinode antinode or node node that is what half of the wavelength and if we can take a consecutive antinode and node or node and antinode successive node antinode antinode or node then what it is lambda by 4 so you have to remember this one idu manam gurtunchukovali adam avutna oka stationary wave lo varasuga vache tondi rendu antinodes madhya gaani rendu nodes madhya gaani unna distance em avutundante half of the wavelength avutundi atlane varasuga vache tondi antinode node వాటి మధ్య డిస్టెన్స్ వచ్చేసి లాంబ్డా బై ఫోర్ అవుతుంది క్లియర్ సో ఇవి రెండు గుర్తుపెట్టుకోండి అండ్ నౌ చిల్డ్రన్ హియర్ హౌ ద స్టేషనరీ వేవ్స్ ఆర్ ఫామ్ క్లియర్ హౌ ద స్టేషనరీ వేవ్స్ ఆర్ ఫామ్ ఇన్ ఏ స్ట్రెచ్డ్ స్ట్రింగ్ ఆల్రెడీ వీ డిస్కస్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డివ్ ఐడెంటిఫై దిస్ వన్ ఇన్ ఏ స్ట్రెచ్డ్ స్ట్రింగ్ ద వేవ్స్ ఆర్ ఫామ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ the progressive waves are types of transverse wave superposition of two transverse waves superposition of two transverse waves constitutes a stationary wave in case of a stretched string but in this case now in case of open pipe before starting of this video only i told what's that these argon pipes are used in the wind musical instruments galini oodinappudu sangeetham vache tondi prati instrument kuda oka argon pipe avutundi so when the air is blown into the pipe some musical notes are developed when some air is blown into the pipe and by changing the fingers on the floor on the holes of the flute some different type of musical instruments are musical notes are developed so we are blowing for example we are speaking that means the moving of air between the vocal cords that will use a sound note all sound waves are the longitudinal waves my aim is to simply say that in case of pipes organ pipes stationary waves are formed because of superposition of longitudinal waves in case of open pipe stationary waves are formed because of superposition of longitudinal waves but in case of a stretched string the stationary waves are formed because of superposition of transverse wave so that is the difference you have to identify manamu oka stretched string iskunappudu dantlo transverse waves are form avutai aa transverse waves anevi superimpose ayinappudu oka stationary wave form avutundi ee evaithe mana musical instruments iddam nunchi cheppano aa musical instruments play avvalante the air must be blown into the pipe 
air is blown into the pipe with some pressure then only some musical notes are developed so evite atuvanti galito pani chese sangeetha vaidyalaki manam konchi galini odilinappudu galini kontha pressure tho blow ayyadu chesinappudu music produce avutundi so kabatti simply in this case in an open pipe when a air is blown into the pipe air is blown into the pipe then at the ends again the wave is going to be reflect wave is going to be reflect because of change in densities because of change in densities the wave is going to be reflect so in this way here are you following me it is the open pipe here simply it is the one air blown musical note or anything at the ends the same wave is going to be reflect that's why here what you have to observe when some air is blown into the open pipe it is moving from one medium one end to the another end and when it is inside the pipe the air molecules have some limitations to vibrate clear manam ik ee vaipu nunchi air ni blow chesinataite aa air move avutunnappudu aa evaithe pipe lo unnappudu em avutundante that should be vibrates under some limitations there is no further expansion of air molecules from the sides that's why there is some limitation but when it is coming to the ends here free to vibrate at the ends the air is free to vibrate that's why in case of open pipes at the ends anti nodes will be created got my point very simple children once the air is blown into the pipe at the ends anti nodes are formed at the first end second end why the anti nodes are created at the ends only for that explanation is what inside the pipe there is some conditions for vibration there is no chance for further expansion of air molecules clear but at the ends it is free to vibrate that's why anti nodes are formed clear so now look here at the diagram on the board some diagrams are there figure a figure b figure c it is the figure a figure b figure c so these are the situations at the different types of formation of stationary waves in all those diagrams in our textbooks also anti nodes are exactly shown at the open ends here the wave is not going to the outside but actually it is not happen practically it is not possible here there is at the open ends there is some chance for further propagation of wave actually it is the anti node i am showing but it is comes here up to here there is some mathematical correction is there for that for that i will explain while i am going to explain about the competitive exams then i will clearly explain about the end correction for ip examination it is not enough no need clear look here now em annanante actually anti nodes anevi open pipe yokka ends vadda form avutunne ani cheptunnanu kaani in practical em avutundante anti node anedi eppudu kuda exact ga open end daggara undadu koncham munduku vastundi paiki gaani kindi gaani velutundi సో కానీ మా అలా అయినప్పటికీ కూడా కొన్ని ఈక్వేషన్స్ డెరైవ్ చేశారు ఎందుకంటే దానికి కొంచెం మ్యాథమెటికల్ కరెక్షన్ యాడ్ చేసి ఆ ఈక్వేషన్స్ రెక్టిఫై చేయడం జరిగింది అది ప్రస్తుతానికి మీకు ఆ ప్రస్తుతం అవసరం లేదు కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ అప్పుడు చెప్తాను ఎండ్ కరెక్షన్ ఎలా చేయాలి అప్పుడు చూద్దాం ఓకేనా చిల్డ్రన్ నవ్ హియర్ ద ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ నవ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డెరైవ్ ది expression for different harmonics different harmonics in an open pipe 
here simply how the stationary waves are formed you have to remember the first pointing is what in an argon pipe when both ends are open now it is, it is called as an open pipe when both ends are open then only it is called open pipe clear after that how stationary waves are formed in an open pipe when the air is blown into the pipe when the air is blown into the pipe obviously the waves moving towards the pipe and that should be going to the another end after that again they are reflected come back and those two waves are superimposed together inside the pipe due to that superposition should be like this due to that stationary waves are formed children in examination point of view we have to derive the expression for fundamental harmonic and overtones so let's go for that so here children first thing is fundamental harmonic fundamental harmonic it is also called as fundamental frequency or first harmonic clear now expression for fundamental harmonic clear in this case you have to observe to form the fundamental harmonic fundamental harmonic means the minimum frequency required the minimum frequency required to form a stationary wave in an open pipe that is called fundamental harmonic oka open pipe lo oka stationary wave form kavali ante kavalesina minimum frequency ne fundamental harmonic antaru so fundamental harmonic form avvali ante the stationary wave must be as shown in figure a to form the fundamental harmonic the stationary wave must be like this look here it is what anti node this is what anti node children i am drawing drawing separately here like this so i already told you in a stationary wave what we call this is what we call segment or loop segment or loop so here for the fundamental harmonic now it is the one half loop and this is the another half loop clear so what it means here that should be having some anti node node and anti node that's why here i am representing figure a represents the formation of stationary wave for the fundamental harmonic this is the anti node and this is what children node and this is what anti node clear to form a fundamental harmonic stationary wave must be consist of two anti nodes one node two anti nodes and one node and children here i already told you what's that distance between anti node and node is how much lambda by 4 what's that lambda by 4 again node to anti node lambda by 4 i already explained starting of the video here anti node to node lambda by 4 and node to anti node also lambda by 4 same diagram you can draw is ardham kadam kosam idu oka anti node node anti node varsha ga vache anti node ki node mai distance enda lambda by 4 node ki anti node lambda by 4 so where we are reading the stationary wave in pipe only ekada form ayindi stationary wave in pipe that's why in this case the length of the wave the length of the stationary wave must be equals to the length of the pipe length of the pipe so simply i am going to write here length of the pipe is equals to wave length of the wave wave length of the wave or stationary wave clear how you are writing like this means what the entire stationary wave is formed in between two ends of the pipe that's why the wavelength must be here equals to the length of the pipe already we have taken length of the pipe is l and wavelength of the wire is wave is what lambda by 4 lambda by 4 so lambda by 4 plus 
lambda by 4 that implies L is equals to 2 lambda by 4. So, what rate then L is equals to what? 2 lambda by 4 means what? Lambda by 2. L is equals to lambda by 2. And from that equation, what do I write? Lambda is equals to 2L. Is what? Lambda is equals to 2L. Clear? And after that, children, we know that velocity of sound, velocity of sound in air is given by the formula V is equals to nu lambda. V is equals to nu lambda here v means velocity of sound and nu is the frequency and lambda is the wave length so from that formula we can write nu is equals to v by lambda nu is equals to v by lambda lambda is what two l then what write nu is equals to v by two l nu is equals to v by 2l and this is the expression for now fundamental harmonic fundamental harmonic so here i am taking now this is nu 1 nu 1 is equals to v by 2l this is the expression for fundamental harmonic cut children very good very simple children here look here once for the first one Fundamental frequency, the minimum frequency required to form a stationary wave in an open pipe is called here fundamental harmonic. When the, for the fundamental harmonic, the stationary wave must be seems like this. There should be kinds of anti node, node, anti node. And in this case, length of the pipe is equal to wavelength of the wave. That's why here L is equal to this length is L lambda by 4 plus lambda by 4. Then what do we get? Lambda is equal to 2 L. And velocity of sound in air is what? V is equals to nu lambda. From that, what write? Nu is equals to V by lambda. Lambda value is 2L. Then, nu 1 is equals to V by 2L. Here, what is V? V is the velocity of sound in air. Manaki, Chalamandi students confuse avataru. End the confusion and Stationary wave ochna pude emotun and Sorry, stretching. Stretching ochna pude. In case of a stretch string, nu is equal to 1 by 2L into V and also the up to here same thing. Manuing is term stretch string up to M is term and 1 by 2L into under root of T by M ras term. Adepudu V is the what velocity of sound in, in a stretch string. Then only you have to use this formula. Maximum students will confuse. So, Kabati, this is under root of T by M and the stretched strings are applicable. You can substitute chairs now, sir. Layer, our point will be to Okay? And now, children, now in case of second harmonic, what is that? Second harmonic. Now, very simple, same procedure you have to follow. First, you need to second the second one is the same. In this case, Second harmonic or first overtone. The name of the name of the name of the First overtone. of the name of the name of the previous video. Lo. What is overtone? Overtone means the frequencies which are integral multiple of fundamental harmonic. Fundamental frequency of multiplication of the rastamo, what in a overtone is under. So, here the name under Monday, second harmonic or first overtone. So, to form the first overtone, the stationary wave should be like this. Adamatuna. So, here this one is anti node, and this one is node, and this one is anti node, and this one is what? Node and this one is what anti node clear. Are they try a student symbol? Upudu second harmonic form of valente manaki stationary wave will on dali. So, can I mention this is anti node node anti node node anti node 
So to form the second hormonic or first ootone, the stationary wave consists of how many antinodes? One, two, three. Three antinodes and two nodes. Clear? Count once again. Antinode, antinode, antinode. Node, node. Again, same thing what? Length of the pipe is equal to wave length of the wave. That's why here, antinode to node is what? Lambda by 4. Again, node to antinode is what? Lambda by 4. Node to antinode is what? Lambda by 4. Again, it is what? Lambda by 4. The distance between coming successive anti one antinode and node is what? Lambda by 4. That's why here, lambda by 4, lambda by 4, lambda by 4, lambda by 4. Then what right? How many there? L is equals to what right? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 lambda by 4. Length of the pipe must be equal to wavelength. So how much here? Lambda by 4, lambda by 4, lambda by 4, lambda by 4. So call the energy with This is lambda by 4 and it is lambda by 4, lambda by 4, lambda by 4. And only 4 lambda by 4 only. So put them out only L is equals to 4 4 cancel what? L is equals to lambda. So in the middle of formula which is nu is equals to v by lambda. Same formula nu is equals to v by lambda. The lambda value in the shin the L. Nu is equals to v by L. So this is what second harmonic. That's why I am going to write this is nu2. First harmonic came rash now, nu1. Nu2 is equals to v by L. So, for our convenient, we are going to write 2v by 2l. Simply, we are multiplying the numerator and denominator with 2. Then what do we get? Nu2 is equals to 2v by 2l. This is the expression for what? Expression for what? Second harmonic. Clear? And from that equation, what have the children? For example, I am saying this is equation number 1. Now it is equation number 2. What are children? Nu2 is equal to, how we can write? Nu2 is equal to, what do I write? 2 into V by 2L. Here, in that equation, V by 2L means what? Nu1. Then, Nu2 is equal to 2 into Nu1. Nu2 is equal to 2 into nu 1. So, multiple of 2. This is the expression for second harmonic. And similarly children, now we go for third harmonic. Same procedure. Very easiest one. Now we go for third harmonic or second overtone. Third harmonic or second overtone. So when the for third harmonic, the stationary wave should be is as shown in figure C. Look here. To understand very clearly, I am drawing separately. Look here. Same both are. Okay. And now count we have to count how many antinodes and how many nodes. Look here. This is antinode and this node. This is antinode and this is node anti node node anti node how many there anti nodes 1 2 3 4 how many nodes 3 4 anti nodes 3 nodes again same thing this is what lambda by 4 and this is what lambda by 4 this is what lambda by 4 this is what lambda by 4 and this is what lambda by 4 and this is what lambda by 4. How we are writing? Distance between anti node node, anti node node, anti node node. Lambda by 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So total how many there? 6. 6 lambda by 4. That means what write simply here? Same than line L is equals to 6 lambda by 4. Then what write? L is equals to here. 2 3s are 2 2s are 3 lambda by 2. Then lambda equals what right? 2L by 3. Lambda equals what? 2L by 3. 
again length of the pipe is equal to wavelength then what right this is the l total l then what you get l is equal to 6 lambda by 4 clear and from that what you get lambda is equal to 2l by 3 and already we have one formula is there what's that nu is equal to v by lambda here for third harmonic we are going to write nu 3 is equal to v by lambda here what is the lambda value nu 3 is equal to what is that v by 2l by 3 then what we get nu 3 is equal to 3v by 2l this is the expression for third harmonic or second overtone expression for third harmonic or second overtone so children again what you write nu 3 is equal to 3v by 2l then what you write nu 3 is equal to 3 into nu 1 nu 3 is equal to 3 into nu 1 so in this way this is the first harmonic second harmonic and third harmonic and children in two marks question or in competitive exams problems look any two marks questions look at my important what are the ratio of harmonics in an open pipe open pipe low air part 20 harmonics harmonics yaka ratio in the leda what is the ratio of harmonics and overtones in an open pipe then what is the answer let us check so ratios are third a ratios manaki chudam ratio of fundamental harmonics and overtones in an open pipe simply i am going to write nu1 is to nu2 is to nu3 what is nu1 v by 2l is to what is nu2 nu1 is what we call fundamental harmonic what is nu2 second harmonic or first overtone what is that 2v by 2l and third one is what 3v by 2l then what right nu1 is to nu2 is to nu3 is equals to what right now 1 is to 2 is to 3 this is the relation between the harmonics in case of an open pipe so children this is the information about the stationary waves formed in an open pipe i think i hope you understand so if you can understand this one share the video like the video and give the one positive comment clear and suggest our channel to the remaining people also thank you so much thank you for watching bye take care